Welcome, dear friends, as we gather in the warmth of this Christmas season. Consider subscribing to our channel and joining our community celebrating the true spirit of Christmas. Truly, there is no better period than now to be part of our thriving community. For as the year draws to a close, and we find ourselves surrounded by the love, joy and peace that characterizes Christmas, it presents us with an opportunity for introspection, an opportunity to reflect back on the year that has been, to express our gratitude, to share in the joy and to rekindle our faith. We stand at the junction of the year, a juncture where the past intersects with the future, and we are invited to embark on an enlightening and inspiring journey. A journey that we will undertake together, tracing the true essence of our human existence that begins with the Christmas story and leads us into the promise of the new year. A year filled with hope and opportunities. This journey, dear friends, is meant to be a transformative one, intended to not only nourish our faith, but also to ignite a spark of hope, a spark that can light the way in the darkest of times. And as we embark on this journey, we will hold in our hearts a verse that has been a source of comfort and strength to countless hearts, a verse that resonates deeply with the spirit of Christmas and the dawn of a new year. This verse is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. It reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. This verse, dear friends, serves as a beacon of hope in our lives. It is a gentle reminder of the divine plan that unfolds for us, even when we are faced with challenges, uncertainties and doubts. It speaks of a future filled with hope, a future orchestrated by the divine will, a future that is waiting to be embraced with faith, courage and optimism. As we delve deeper into the historical context and spiritual significance of this verse, we will undoubtedly uncover the timeless message it holds. This exploration will allow us to see how its profound message intersects with the Christmas story and the promise of the new year. We will hear heartwarming testimonials and inspiring stories that bring this verse to life, stories of faith, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. Through this exploration, we will not only deepen our understanding of this verse, but also its implications for our lives. We hope to inspire you to carry this verse in your heart as you navigate the trials and triumphs of life, as you celebrate the joy of Christmas and step into the promise of the new year. Let us remember that our journey is not just about the destination, but also about the path we take to get there. It is about lessons we learn, the bonds we forge, the love we share, and the hope we inspire. So, as we immerse ourselves in the festivities of Christmas and prepare to welcome the new year, let us carry this verse in our hearts, let it guide our actions, influence our thoughts and shape our lives. With this in mind, let us remember that each of us has a role to play in shaping our future and in ensuring that it is one filled with hope and promise. It is our collective responsibility to uphold the values and principles that this verse stands for, to strive for a future that is shaped by love, compassion, and mutual respect. With this verse in our hearts, let us journey together into the historical context of this timeless message. The verse we focus on today originates from the book of Jeremiah, a book filled with prophecy and promise. This verse, specifically Jeremiah 29 verse 11, emerges from a historical context that is saturated with a wide range of testing times and various hardships Yet it is also steeped in an unwavering hope that resonates powerfully, even when Jeremiah penned these inspiring and comforting words. The people of Israel were in an unenviable situation. They were in captivity in Babylon, a foreign land far away from what they knew and loved. These people were displaced from their homelands. Their dreams and aspirations seemed to be crushed under the weight of their harsh reality. However, despite such despair and hopelessness, Jeremiah emerged as a beacon of light, delivering a message from God, a message imbued with hope and a promise of a future that would be brighter than their present circumstances. He boldly proclaimed, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. This verse, potent with assurance, was like a lighthouse guiding a ship lost at sea. It brought hope to the people of Israel, a reassurance that their present circumstances were not the end of their narrative. God, 
in his infinite wisdom and boundless love, had plans for them. These were plans to enrich them and not to harm them, plans to give them hope for a better tomorrow and a prosperous future. Such a powerful message from the divine gave the people of Israel a glimmer of hope in the darkest of times. Now you might be wondering, how does this verse relate to the Christmas story? Well, let's delve into that. The Christmas story at its core is a story of hope. It's the narrative of God sending Son, Jesus Christ, into the world as a baby. This was no ordinary birth. This was the divine becoming mortal, God incarnated in human form, born in a humble stable. Jesus' birth was the fulfillment of countless prophecies and was the embodiment of hope for all humanity. Just as the people of Israel were in a state of despair in Babylon, humanity was in a state of spiritual despair. We were estranged from God by our sins, lost and in desperate need of a savior. In the midst of this spiritual darkness, God sent his son Jesus to be the light of the world to bring hope, salvation and a promise of a better future. Essentially, both the verse from Jeremiah and the Christmas story carry a similar message. They both speak of God's immense love for his people, his plans to bring about their welfare, and his promise of a future imbued with hope. The birth of Jesus was God's assurance to just as Jeremiah 29 verse 11 was to the people of Israel, that he has plans for us, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give us a future and a hope. As we celebrate Christmas, we celebrate the hope that was born into the world through Jesus. We celebrate the fulfillment of promise, his unwavering love for us, and his plans for our welfare. We celebrate the hope that no matter our circumstances, we have a future filled with promise because of Jesus. We rejoice in the knowledge that even in our darkest times, there is a beacon of hope, a promise of a brighter future because of the birth of Jesus. The message of hope from Jeremiah resonates deeply with the story of Christmas, a time when, when hope was born into the world. As we reflect on this verse and the Christmas story, Let's remember the hope we have in Jesus and carry that hope into the new year. As ponder over these powerful verses and the beautiful story of Christmas, let's be reminded of the hope that we have in Jesus and let's carry that hope into the new year and onwards. The Christmas story at its heart is a tale of hope. It's a narrative transcends time, culture and borders, resonating in the hearts of millions around the world. This story, this fable of hope, is one that has endured through countless generations, undaunted by the ever-encroaching tide of modernity and skepticism. A tale not just of hope, but of complete transformation and divine intervention, enveloped in a cloak of humility and simplicity. This story commences in the unassuming surroundings of a humble stable in Bethlehem, far removed from the hustle and bustle of palaces and grandeur, a place so humble yet so significant that it became the birthplace of an event so profound and so extraordinary it forever altered the course of human history. In, in the quiet whispers of that first Christmas night, a promise was born. A promise that echoed in the stillness of the night, spreading its wings of hope across the night sky. A promise of hope, of a future, and of a love so profound it would transcend time and space extending its grace to all corners of the earth. This promise was embodied in the birth of a child, a child named Jesus, who was destined to become the savior of the world. The birth of Jesus was not an ordinary event. It wasn't just a young woman giving birth to her first child in a simple stable. It was a divine intervention, a miraculous incident where heaven, earth, and the extraordinary happened in the midst of the ordinary. Amid the mundane routines of life, in a stable lit only by the glow of a single lamp, a child was born who would bring hope to the hopeless, light to the darkness, and usher in a future filled with promise. This child was born to a young woman named Mary, who had been visited by an angel in a divine apparition. The angel told her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. Mary's response to this unexpected news was one of faith and hope. Despite the uncertainty and the potential for misunderstanding and rejection, she chose to trust in God's plan, saying, I am the Lord's servant. May your word me be fulfilled. Mary's hope was not in her circumstances, but in the God who had made her a part of his grand design, a design that was about to unfold in most spectacular way. 
And then there was Joseph, a righteous man who, when he discovered Mary was pregnant, chose to protect her reputation rather than expose her to public disgrace. His actions were a testament to his faith in God and the hope he held for a future that was based based on love, mercy and grace. This humble carpenter became an example of trust and faith, a beacon of hope in a world clouded by doubt and fear. The shepherds, too, played a significant role in this tale of hope. They were the first to receive the good news of Jesus' birth, a message delivered by an angelic host that filled the night sky with glow. The shepherds, societal outcasts in their time, were chosen to be the first witnesses of this miraculous event, symbolizing that the hope Jesus brought was accessible to all, regardless of social status or background. This hope was not confined to the stable in Bethlehem. It spread beyond its humble walls, reaching the far corners of the earth. The Magi, wise men from the east, followed a star that led them to Jesus. They brought gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, recognizing the significance of his birth. Their journey serves as a reminder that the hope Jesus brings is not limited by geography culture. It's a universal hope, a hope for all of humanity. It's a beacon of light that shines in the darkest corners of the world, offering hope and comfort to those who seek it. The Christmas story, in all its simplicity and humility, is a profound narrative of hope. It's a tale that reassures us God's love and his plans for our welfare, not for evil. It's a story that resonates with the encapsulated in Jeremiah 29, 11, reminding us that God's plans are to give us a future filled with hope. This tale of hope is not just a story to be told during the holiday season. It's a narrative to be lived out each day. As we journey through life, may we, like Mary, Joseph, the shepherds and the Magi, respond with faith and hope to the circumstances we encounter. May we trust in God's plan, embrace his love and step into the future he has prepared for us with hope indeed the birth of jesus brought a future filled with hope echoing the promise of our verse as we reflect on the christmas story let's remember its central message of hope and look forward future with anticipation and joy for in jesus we have a hope that is steadfast and sure a hope that will not disappoint a hope that is the very essence of christmas now, dear friends, let us hear from some of our community members about how this verse has impacted their lives. In the heart of our community, there lies a powerful bond, a connection that is strengthened and deepened by shared experiences, shared stories, stories of faith, stories of hope, stories of transformation. And at the heart of many of these stories, you will find a verse that has become a beacon in the darkness, a source of strength and comfort. Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11 is more than just a verse in the Bible, it's a divine promise. Promise of hope, a promise of a future. But what does it mean to let this verse become a part of your life? To allow it to penetrate your everyday routine and your festive celebrations? It is not just about reciting the words, chanting them in a melodious rhythm. It's about internalizing them, letting them seep into your soul and transform you from the inside out. Take Emily, for instance. Emily is a single mother of three beautiful children from the charming city of Bristol. Christmas for Emily was a season of reflection, a season of remembrance. It was a poignant reminder of dreams unfulfilled, of hopes left hanging in the balance. Yet amid the chaos and the struggles, Emily discovered Jeremiah 29, 11. She let the words wash over her. She let them sink into her skin, into her heart. She realized that she was not alone. She realized that despite the challenges she faced, there was hope, there was a future. Christmas began to change for Emily. It was no longer a symbol of what was missing, but a celebration of what was coming. She began to see it as a season of hope, a season filled with divine promises. And then there's James, a man who had labored all his life, who, who had given his everything to his work. After retiring from a long and fulfilling career, he found himself standing at a crossroads, lost and uncertain. The verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, found him there. It found him at his weakest. It found him when he needed it the most. As he pondered over the divine promise, as he let the words whisper their message into his heart, he realized that he had a purpose. His life wasn't meant to end with retirement. His story was still being written. 
James spends his Christmas seasons volunteering at local shelters, giving back to the community, living out the promise of Jeremiah 29, 11. In the bustling city of Leeds, we meet Sarah, a recent graduate faced with the daunting challenge of finding her place in the world. The uncertainty was suffocating, but amidst the chaos, the verse found her. Jeremiah 29, 11 became her anchor, her lifeline. She began to see a future filled with hope, a future guided by a divine hand. Today, Sarah celebrates Christmas with a heart brimming with gratitude, secure in the knowledge that her life is guided by a divine plan. These stories, as different as they may be, are bound by a common thread, the power of Jeremiah 29, 11. Each story is a testament to the transformative impact of the verse, of the promise it holds. It's a verse that transcends seasons, a verse that finds its place in everyday life and in Christmas celebrations. It's a reminder that we are not alone, that our are guided by a divine plan. Living this verse practically, especially during the Christmas season, requires a shift in perspective. It requires us to embrace hope, to believe in a future that we may not yet see. It urges us to see Christmas not just as a festive season, but as a celebration of God's promise. It calls us to extend this hope to others, to share the joy and promise of Christmas with those who need it the most. And ultimately, it asks us to trust, to trust that God's plans for us are for good, even when life doesn't go as we planned. To trust that he is working behind the scenes, shaping our future, filling it with hope. This Christmas, let's choose to trust, to believe in the promise of Jeremiah 29, 11. These stories truly show how this verse can illuminate our path, especially during the Christmas season. As we bid goodbye to another year and welcome a new one, let's ponder on how we can carry the promise of this verse into our daily lives. This marks the start of a chapter in our lives that is yet to be written, yet to be and yet to be lived. We've journeyed together through the labyrinth of life, threading our stories together, weaving them with the tales of hope, the stories of faith, and the lessons of the past. Our journey has been a tapestry of human experiences, both joyous and sorrowful, that have shaped us into the individuals we are today. Now we stand at the brink of a new beginning, like a bird ready to take flight into the unknown. The old year has passed like footprints washed away by the tide, but the memories remain carved deeply into our hearts. As we embrace the dawn of a new year, the words of Jeremiah 29, 11 echo in our hearts these words like a soft and comforting lullaby remind us of god's plans filled with hope and a promising future change is inevitable and the transition from one year to another signifies not just a change in the date on calendars but also a change in our perspectives the new year is more than just a change in the calendar it's a chance for renewal an opportunity to start afresh it's a fresh canvas waiting for us to splash our dreams, hopes, and plans on it. And what better way to kickstart this journey than by anchoring our resolutions in the assurance of God's plans for us. The first element that we should bring into the new year is hope. Hope, not in the world's fleeting promises, but in the eternal plans of God. This may mean resolving to trust in his plans even when our circumstances seem daunting or our paths unclear, it may mean finding courage in the face of adversity and faith in the midst of doubt. It could mean choosing to see the silver linings even in the darkest of clouds. It could be cherishing the smiles amidst the tears and the lessons amidst the failures. Next, we have faith. Faith is the bedrock of our relationship with God. Without faith, our relationship with God is like a ship without a compass, lost in the vast ocean of life. As we step into the new year, let's resolve to grow in faith, to lean not on our understanding, but to trust wholeheartedly in God's wisdom. This might translate to spending more time in prayer, immersing ourselves in His Word, or simply acknowledging His presence in every moment of our lives. It might mean waking up early in the morning to hear the whispering prayers of the dawn, or staying up late at night to witness the tranquility of the silent prayers of the moon. And finally, let's talk about welfare. God's plans are for our welfare, for our good. His plans are like the blueprint of a magnificent edifice, meticulously designed for our well-being. As we make our New Year's resolutions, let's keep this in mind. Let's aim for goals that align with God's desire for our well-being. 
This could be taking better care of our physical health, nurturing our mental well-being, or fostering stronger relationships with those around us. But remember, this journey is not about striving to achieve these resolutions on our own strength. It's about surrendering to God's plans, about allowing Him to guide us, to shape us, and to lead us into the future He has prepared for us. So as we stand on the threshold of the new year, let's hold tightly to the promise of Jeremiah 29, 11. Let's remember that no matter what the new year brings, we can rest in the assurance that God's plans for us are plans for welfare, not evil, to give us a future and a hope. The new year is a blank canvas, and with God as our guide, we have the freedom to paint a vibrant picture of hope, faith, and welfare. Let's not forget that we are the artists of our own lives and the brush of destiny is in our hands. We must choose the colors with wisdom, blend them with love, and paint with faith. So let's step into the new year, not with fear or apprehension, but with boldness, knowing that we are held in the loving, capable hands of our Creator. With this verse as our guide, we can step into the new year with hope and confidence. As we conclude, may the promise of this verse fill your hearts and homes this Christmas. This marks the arrival of the most anticipated time of the year as the lights of the Christmas tree appear brighter than ever and the wafting aroma of cookies fresh from the oven fills the air. As we gather around the fire sharing stories and laughter, we are enveloped in the magical ambience of Christmas, a timeless tale that unfolds anew every year. The tale begins with an echo of a divine promise, a captivating whisper of hope that reverberates in every heart, a beacon of light that illuminates the dark winter nights. This promise is encapsulated in a verse from Jeremiah, a verse that has withstood the test of time and sent waves of comfort and assurance to countless hearts. It serves as a gentle reminder of God's unfaltering love and His unwavering plans for our welfare. And just like a lighthouse guiding sailors through a stormy night, it lights up our path amid life's turbulent waves. As the Christmas season dawns upon us, it brings with it not just a resplendent display of lights, joyous carols and heartfelt laughter, but also a profound spiritual message. Amid the hustle and bustle, the joy of giving and the glittering lights is a narrative much and more significant. It's a narrative that directs our gaze away from the materialistic aspect of Christmas to the spiritual essence that it holds. It's a reminder of God's ultimate gift to humanity, a gift that was not wrapped in shiny paper and ribbons, but swaddled in humble clothes and laid in a manger. This gift is more than a symbol of God's love for us. It's a testament to God's promise that no matter how dark the night, dawn is always on the horizon. Amid the glistening Christmas trees, the shared meals, and the hearty laughter, this profound joy resonates in our hearts, a joy that stems from the knowledge that we are part of a grand, divine plan. This plan is the narrative of hope and salvation, a narrative that binds everyone together in a shared sense of unity and purpose. As we partake in the festivities, let's not forget to pause in the quiet moments. Amid the carols and the cheer, let's reflect on the year that has gone by. Let's remember the trials we've faced, the victories we've celebrated, the grace that has seen us through, and the lessons we've learned. Each challenge, each triumph, is not a random event, but a thread in the intricately woven tapestry of God's plan for us. The arrival of the new year is a testament to the continuity of this divine plan. It's an invitation to step into the unknown with faith, knowing that the same God who guided us through the past year has already charted the course for the year ahead. As we step into the new year, we do so with hope, knowing that the promise of Jeremiah 29, 11 is as true today as it was 2000 years ago. As we bid farewell to this blessed season, let's carry the Christmas message in our hearts just for a season, but for the whole year through. May the divine promise fill our hearts with hope and our paths with light. Before we part, consider subscribing to our channel for more uplifting content. Merry Christmas and may God's plan for you be filled with hope and a bright future.